twitch.tv slash Duel Links Meta. We are live right now. Bronk review. Let's go. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. We're going to review the card rewards, the level up rewards, the skills, and show you a way to farm the character. Let's get to it. We're gonna just review the exclusive skills. Now, of course, when you level up any character, you're gonna get a lot of gems. I think up to 1,500 is what you might get, maybe 1,300 gems. So it's definitely worth it to level up everyone, but you do wanna prioritize who you level up. So let's get to the exclusive skills. Iron A. This says, can only be used the turn you activate the effect of a card whose original name is period. Well, A Iron is what you have to activate with the original name, but in the game it says period. So what is an A Iron? This, you have to activate this, which is available on his level up rewards. Once per turn, you could have this card gain 400 attack. This card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect, and it is a permanent ba boost. So become 2000, can't attack, but then next turn, 2400, ba boost, ba boost, ba boost. And what skill are we activating? The skill is going to increase Increase the attack of your Iron A by an additional 400. And it can be used once per turn, three times per duel. Nice. So basically, the Iron A is going to become 2400. Then, if it survives, it's going to become 3200. If it survives, then it's going to become 4000 attack after three turns. But the skill seems like it's not good. I don't think I'd use this, but uh, pretty funny. Okay. Next is Iron Call. Can be used on your next turn after an Iron Call call is activated. So Iron Call, very good. What it does is if you control a machine type monster, you could target a level four or lower machine in the graveyard special summon that target. Defects are negated, you destroy in the end phase, but maybe exceed Shokan with the machine you have on the field and the one you special summoned or synchro. So if you use this, you have to use this on your next turn, not even the turn you activate Iron Call. Instead of conducting your normal draw, you return Iron Call from your graveyard to your hand, and it can be used once per duel. So use your Iron Call more than once. I don't think the skill is that nice, but a pretty cool effect. Not a very good skill. Let's move on to the next one. I've seen that deck before. Can be used if you and your opponent control a card slash cards with the same name. So you both have to control card or multiple cards of the same names recover 500 life for each card with the same name each different card with the same name so they have two cards of the same name as you gain 1000 life and this is a really bad skill i don't know why you would use it i don't really know the combo with this maybe if you could like summon three tokens on your opponent's side of the field or something and then you would have that token also but i mean that doesn't even work that's not good so it has to be different names but same name as yours i don't know who came up with this but you're fired up next recycling reserve can be used if you have at least two more machine monsters than other cards in your graveyard you'd have to have three machines plus one one spell, one trap, or one non-machine, because that would be two more than other cards in your graveyard. All cards in your graveyard other than machines vanish. Okay, so an idea with this card is, is this going to be the new way to play Super Heavy Samurai? Most of these cards say things like you can't control spell or traps in your graveyard. You can't have spell or traps in your graveyard to use most of the effects of these cards. If we look at the Giga Glove, I believe this if you have no spell and traps in your graveyard does this even activate and then I think the tuner you have to have no spell or traps in your graveyard to special summon this card from your hand and a super heavy samurai deck if we look at an example of how it's played maybe it's time to start playing back row in them so here's an example of a super heavy samurai deck we're not playing back row by choice we are doing it because a lot of the skills require us to not play back row so now with the skill we could just make the back row very Vanish. This can only be used once per duel, so you might not want to go overboard with the back row because you could vanish your back row only once per duel, so that's an idea. Maybe there's something there. Maybe I'll pick up the Super Heavy Samurai again. It's also worth noting if you make that certain back row a Treacherous Trap Hole. Treacherous Trap Hole can only be used if you have no traps in your graveyard, so you could double use your Treacherous, so maybe you could just tech in Treacherous into your Super Heavy
We're heavy samurai deck now. Use the first one, vanish it, use the second one, but then the second one will turn off the effects of your other super heavy samurais. And this is the fluff skill. This is a demo skill, just to demo the exceed. At the beginning of the duel, add the exceed to your extra deck. And if your opponent controls a monster in defense position, you can return a tin arc duke from your graveyard back to your extra deck. It can only be used once per duel. Now the Yuma skill requires you to be losing 2,000 life to return your exceed back. And this one just has an awkward requirement. Your opponent has to control a defense position. Okay, let's talk about the Tin Arc Duke right now. This is a level up reward. These are free cards to obtain. Three level four monsters. So any deck with level fours could play this card. Once per turn during either player's turn, detach, quick play, target a monster, change its battle position. If it's an attack, it goes to defense. If it's face down defense, it goes into face up attack and it does not activate flip monster effects. Now a card like Invoker activates on flip, but it's not a flip monster. So the Invoker will still activate. If it's set, you flip it up. It's going to activate because it's not a flip monster. But otherwise, this will negate flip effects like, let's see what popular flip effects are. Uh, Gravekeepers and Sub Terrors. So have fun negating those cards by flipping them up with the Tin Arc Duke. Is everyone going to be playing this with seven card extra deck? Maybe you can have room to just put this in. It's small attack, but being able to change battle positions during either player's turn could be pretty cool. Wind Up Rat. This was a core card in my top tier wind up deck back in the day. You could target a wind up in your graveyard to then special summon that wind up and it's level three. So you could exceed with another level three. I don't know if it'll be good right now. We'll have to look at the rest of the wind up cards, maybe make a wind up deck with this. I don't know if we have enough of the wind up cards to really make this work. If we go on to the website and type wind up wind up cards that I'm familiar with that we are missing. If I were to scroll down, obviously the exceeds like the main one being the Zen matey shark was a main one the wind up magician the wind up rabbit the wind up hunter these are all exceeds and cards that i was using in my top tier wind up deck which we are missing so we'll have to evaluate this card later see if we can make a deck out of it it's free to obtain then we have the toy emperor when this card destroys a monster by battle you could add a trap from your deck to your hand it's 2300 so it likely will probably destroy something but this is definitely not worth it this is trash a iron this is used with the skill to boost up instead of by 400 you boost by 800 every turn but then you can't attack it could go up to 4,000 attack after three turns is that worth it maybe we'll make something fun with it now these are the drop rewards you will get a tin arc duke from a level up and then you'll also get more from the gates which you probably will not want more we have weights and zen measures target two wind ups with different levels then you choose your opponent chooses one of them then they become the same level if they don't choose the higher level you get to draw a card it's a good way to force your opponent to allow you to exceed with two different levels but if you're depending on this card to make exceeds it's probably not going to work out well so i don't really like this card wind up honeybee when this card is destroyed by battle you could special summon a level four lower wind up from your deck so it floats it could float into the rats and the rat could special summon the honeybee then you could use the weight and zen measures to become either both level one then you're not exceed summoning but you'll draw a card or your opponent will choose level three so you don't get to draw then you get to exceed into a level three toy soldier once returned during your standby phase you could special Special summon one toy soldier from your deck in attack position. It's during your standby. So this has to be on the field or summon in your opponent's end phase. I really don't like this card. That seems bad. Bio Falcon. This is a reprint, so we're not talking about it. Here's a farm deck to farm for those cards. Very good on duelingsmeta.com. Farm deck. Read it. Screenshot the page or just go to the page yourself. This is what you'll be farming against and comment all that good stuff if you have any other ideas. Recycling reserve can make super heavy samurais have spell and traps. Very good idea. Now, that's it. Let's go!